coming to you from Studio 703. A show made for students by students. This is Bronco TV. Hey Broncos, welcome back to another episode of Bronco TV. I'm your host, Sierra. And I'm Cole. Hey Sierra, you been doing any community service lately? Yeah, actually I have. I went to the food packing event this past weekend at school. Me too. It was really awesome to see staff and students come together for one cause. Rancho Bernardo students contribute to life on campus in many different ways, making our school all the more diverse. Community involvement is an essential part of who we are as RB students. In academic excellence, cultural diversity, and charity. Sacrificing their weekends, many RB students and teachers spent their time with the Fight Against Hunger Club packing food for the third rural country of Haiti. This event is sending food to Haiti. The amount of poverty was really heartbreaking, but uh, the people there are so joyful and happy. It was so great to just see how thankful they are, even through their hard time. It's really encouraging to see kind of the people, young people are not just interested in kind of sitting in front of their computer and playing computer games, but actually getting out, getting involved in the community, doing some good for the world, and making sure that people have enough to eat and have safe water. Together with a nonprofit organization, the Friends and Family Community Connection, the Fight Against Hunger Club packed 38,000 meals for those in need. The greatest thrill is the opportunity to connect with this next generation of leaders. To see the potential that these students have, and they're not just waiting till they're adults, but they're going for it now. To see these students starting so young at engaging and developing a worldview truly is the most rewarding part of everything I do. Hey Broncos, this is Abby with your ASB update. Prom tickets are still on sale next week and prom is on Saturday, May 13th. Seniors, be sure to get your grad night tickets. They're selling them Wednesdays at lunch in the small quad. This has been Abby with your ASB update. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. What are you doing? Um, what's it look like I'm doing, Sierra? I'm practicing my robotics. Duh. Pretty sure that's not what they do in robotics. <laughs> okay, Sierra, I bet. What do you think they do? Make robots? Yeah, that's exactly what they do. Many clubs on campus prepare students for life after high school. One of these clubs is robotics. Robotics teaches students not only the ins and outs of engineering, but also teamwork, leadership, and business skills. I'm currently the president of the team and I think it's beneficial because you don't just learn about engineering, you also can learn about marketing and how to run a company because basically this is like a small company. The most important part of robotics is teamwork definitely because without it you couldn't be efficient in building the robot. Robotics is really fun. Big regret of mine is just not joining this club sooner. Once a year, robotics competes in a national competition where they create a robot to complete an assigned task. The, the competition is basically just a game. You have to score points by completing certain tasks, and then whoever has the most points wins. Hey Sierra, how's life going? Eh, it's pretty lax. Oh, that's awesome. Pretty relaxed? That's cool. No, like lax, because lax is life. Oh, gotcha. Continuing in the spring season, our athletes are working hard to set themselves up for a strong playoff run. Boys Golf is coming out on top with a 20-3 record and an undefeated season in league. Gymnastics is setting the bar high on and off campus as is girls softball hitting a home run towards success. Baseball is also holding up its stellar reputation with their record 22-2. Swim and Dive is working hard with good form for CIFs. Track and Field is running into a winning season with their many victories. After their strong win against the Green School, boys volleyball is spiking their opponents hard. 
Tennis is continuing to set the standards high as they take on the competition, as is boys lacrosse with their important wins. And finally, girls lacrosse continues to shoot down their competition in an outstanding season. This group is incredible. They all work together, they all support each other. I mean, if someone's not feeling it, it's like, I got your back. I love lacrosse and playing. It's so fun at RV because not only like do we win and play well, but just the lacrosse program at Ranch Bernardo in general is just really positive and um, it's fun. For me, I'm always a little nervous coming into games because you don't know how it's going to go. Just as long as we always go into a game with positive mental attitude and maintain it during the game, it will be a good game. Hey Cole, I'm feeling a little hungry. Know of any good burger places around here? Sierra, let me tell you, I've done extensive research on this. Really? So where should I go? Absolutely, positively, no idea. McDonald's is a dominant fast food restaurant, which can be found all across the world. Today, we will be tasting the world-renowned Big Mac. There's not juice in these patties. It's a little dry. The pickle adds a nice compliment to it. Overall, I'm gonna have to say 30 out of 50. Overall, I'll give it a 35 out of 50. In and Out is a Southern California style burger joint with a simple menu. Today, we will be reviewing their signature burger, the Double Double. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Uh, mm, that is juicy. 50 out of 50, amazing burger. Another California local, the Habit Burger Grill, changes up typical fast food. Instead of frying their burger, they charbroil it with their signature char burger. The well-composed burger, I gotta say. Everything just complements each other. The condiments complement each other. Probably a 40 out of 50. The newly opened restaurant, The Grub, offers a more upscale atmosphere for a more dinner-centric crowd. Uh, I would give this burger probably around 45 out of 50. I'm gonna have to agree with you on this one, 45 out of 50. Zero, what are you doing? I'm playing my game. Shouldn't you not be doing that right now? Why don't we just leave that to the experts? Dum, 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 dum. Some people at RV live a different lifestyle than the rest of us. Smash Bros Gaming is that lifestyle. We basically play old and new Smash Bros games as well as older video games, and it's just a blast playing. We all have a great time talking about it, playing it together. I feel like the club is a good thing for all of us as it brings us together so we can like all have a fun time and hang out. This club has impacted me as a leader, taught me how to lead people better. There's only one rule to keep it clean and friendly and not bully anyone, and as long as that's good, you can just be yourself, and it's great. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Bronco TV. Make sure to check us out on YouTube and subscribe. Let's get this. God, I hate myself. Okay. <laughs> All right. Nice. My body is telling me yes. All right. Sorry, Kelly. All right.